Good morning, church family. Welcome to day 14 of our 30-day Bible reading challenge. Today we're going to read Colossians chapter 2, verses 16 through 19. If you have a Bible, I want to encourage you to go ahead and turn in your Bible to Colossians chapter 2. If you're not able to do that, I want to encourage you to listen along with us as we read God's Word together. Colossians chapter 2, starting in verse 16. Therefore, let no one pass judgment on on you in questions of food and drink, or with regard to a festival or a new moon or a Sabbath. These are a shadow of the things to come, but the substance belongs to Christ. Let no one disqualify you, insisting on asceticism and worship of angels, going on in detail about visions, puffed up without reason by a sensuous mind, and not holding fast to the head, from whom the whole body, nourished and knit together through its joints and ligaments, grows with a growth that is from God. Qualifications are an interesting thing. In order to teach in public schools in Mississippi, in the state of Mississippi, I had to get a teaching license, uh, which required me to have finished a college degree and then to have passed uh, a two-level set of, of tests. Um, my wife, Julie, is a nurse, had a similar path to becoming a nurse. She had to finish her de- degree program at Mississippi University for Women and then pass the nursing board exam. Many of you have been through a similar process in order to do the things that you want to do. You had to earn the right to be able to do whatever it is that you wanted to do. Uh, You had to pass a test or finish a course or read a book. Uh, You had to get qualified. Uh, That makes me think about, because Paul uses this idea of being disqualified. It makes me wonder what it is that we have to do to be qualified to be loved by God. What is it that we have to do? Well, the good news is, We don't have to do anything. The passage that we looked at yesterday kind of answers the question for us. Jesus, His life, death, and resurrection are what qualifies us to be loved by God. We don't have to pass a test. We don't have to take down the record of debt and pay our own debts. He has passed the test for us. He has taken that record of debts and nailed it to the cross for us. We don't have to do that. This is why the Apostle Paul can say things like, as he says here, let no one pass judgment on you. Let no one disqualify you. You see, there were people walking around the church saying that the only way that you could be loved by God is if you eat the right kind of food or drink the right kind of drink. Uh, There there were people trying to convince people to hurt their bodies. That's what that word asceticism means. Uh, To worship angels, to believe in visions in order to qualify themselves uh, so that they can be loved by God. And as I think about that, y'all, in our modern day, we have all these things kind of floating around like, okay, you can love Jesus, but you also have to do this, and you also have to fill in this blank, and you have to you have to believe this certain thing, or you have to look to this kind of person to be able to, to follow Jesus perfectly. And my encouragement is, listen, none of us qualified ourselves to be loved by God. What this means simply is that no one can disqualify you uh, for Uh, from the love of God, because Jesus has already met those qualifications. You haven't earned your salvation, you don't keep your salvation, and you won't lose it, because you didn't earn it for yourself, Jesus did, and He will never, ever let us go. Let's pray pray together and give God thanks that we don't have to be worried about the judgment of others. We don't have to be worried about people who would disqualify us from the love of God, because God has given us Jesus. Pray together with me. God, we thank you that um, no one can pass judgment on us. No one can disqualify us. Not because we're good, not because uh, we do all the right things, but because Jesus is good, because He is righteous. We thank you, Lord, that He has qualified us to be loved by you. He has made us right with you. And so, God, we revel in that. We glory in the truth that He is the one who has made us who we are. He is the one who keeps us with the Father, and He is the one who will never, ever let us go. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen.